it doesn't matter how many relatives or people that you know that are in the military. This is you. This is your career. You're learning. This is your job. So act like an adult and take it seriously. What's up, friends? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't already know me, hi, my name is Stephanie Rennie and I am a United States Army veteran. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what you should know before you join the military and before you go to basic. That's right. I know you guys were expecting week one of basic training or what it's like in basic training or something like that. But before we talk about that, you need to get yourself in the mindset that you should be in to successfully complete basic training. But don't worry, that will be next week's video where we're going to be talking about week one of basic training and all the shock factors that go along with that. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that one. My goal is to hit 100 subscribers by the end of the year, so if you want to look below and see if you're subscribed and if you're not go ahead and press it i know about 70 percent of you aren't subscribed i see you i see you go ahead and do it <laughs> let's get started okay this is going to be kind of a heavy video so let's just get comfy okay that's better so the first thing that you need to know is that this is not the place to reinvent yourself when I was on the plane going to basic training, I was thinking about my whole life up to that point, how I only ever had one friend. I was heavily bullied to the point of being followed home and physically harmed. So in my mind, this was my chance to get out of that, maybe tell some lies and fibs to make it seem like I had this amazing life and that people wanted to be my friends because I knew how the popular kids acted when I was in school and I just thought, if I act like them, maybe I'll have friends too. I wanted to change everything about myself. No one knew who I was, no one knew was the wiser, but honestly, you just come off as fake and a liar, which is kind of what I think put me back into that place that I was at growing up where I was myself when I was growing up and nobody liked that. And now I'm pretending to be somebody else and nobody likes that. I would walk into a crowd at basic training about halfway through and people would be looking at each other like they had just talked about me or I could hear whispers saying, why is she here? And we don't wanna hang out with her. And those little, no, don't sit next to me or don't tell her to sit next to me, that kind of thing. So honestly, just go in and be yourself and people are either gonna like it or they're not, but they're not the ones that are gonna hand you your promotion. They're not controlling your career you are. This brings me to my next point that not everyone is going to get along. You're going to be stuck in a bay with 40 to 50 other people. Tensions are going to be high. There might be some fights. Sometimes your personalities or backgrounds are going to clash, but that doesn't mean you don't be respectful to the person next to you. Do you want somebody touching your stuff or talking poorly behind your back or excluding you from something no so don't be like that to other people just because you don't like someone doesn't mean you have to be rude about it all right so the next one this is going to go hand in hand with the last one that we were just talking about about not everybody gets along all right well that's because the army is this huge melting pot of people different ages different ethnicities different backgrounds of how you grew up different educations and experiences you just don't know where people are coming from but i can assure you they're coming from everywhere not everybody grew up like you. So for me, I grew up in Wyoming and I wasn't exposed to a whole lot of races. There just wasn't that much diversity where I grew up. So making stereotypical jokes was pretty common and I thought that humor was funny at the time and it took somebody telling me, sitting down and telling me that that's not okay and the reasons why it wasn't and how it made others feel and now I don't do that anymore. I didn't realize how much my jokes hurt other people's feelings because they're not jokes. They really affect people. And it took being educated and with the willingness to look into myself and fix those things. So how about hitting that like button for personal growth? So the next thing is to keep in mind that you should give everyone a chance. Be cognizant of the melting pot. Give everyone a chance. Listen to their stories, give constructive criticism, 
take constructive criticism in a non-combative way. Then if their actions don't change, you know their character. But there's always room for improvement. Look inside yourself and know that you're not perfect and neither are they. Don't let those rumors affect your friendship or potential friendship that you could have with someone because people are gonna be talking smack all the time. And you're not gonna know any different until you hear their side of the story or give them a chance to act differently. Put a green heart in the comments comment section down below if you've ever been in a situation where everybody was telling you not to be this person's friend and you ended up finding out they were awesome and have a lifelong friend out of it. All right, so the next thing is gonna be to not be selfish. Everything you do is gonna be done in groups and that includes being punished in a group. If one person steals peanut butter from the dining facility, you all are going to be smoked. You guys are all gonna be working out. If somebody sleeps on their fire guard shift, you will be woken up at 3 a.m. by the drill sergeant screaming in your face to do more exercises. You guys are gonna get real strong. So just know that breaking the rules doesn't always mean it's just you breaking the rules and just you being held accountable for it. It's everyone. All right, guys, this might be the most important thing that you hear in this video. Leave your attitude at home. You're not better than anybody in there. You don't know more than the drill sergeants. You are probably one of the lowest ranking out there. It doesn't matter how many relatives or people that you know that are in the military. This is you, this is your career, your learning. This is your job. So act like an adult and take it seriously. It's always gonna be worse for you if you try to push back against the drill sergeants or you push back against your battle buddies or you just bring that negative energy around. It's not needed. Like I said, this is not summer camp and if you can't handle being told what to do on a daily basis, if you're too prideful to take direction, then this might not be the career for you. Next up is to control your emotions. This kind of goes hand in hand with the no attitude thing, except this one mostly applies while you're around your drill sergeants. If you are a type of person that's very emotional and cries all the time, they will exploit that. It'll make you look weak and they'll just pick on you for it, to be honest. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing not to be sensitive, not to be in touch with your feelings and cry every now and then, but while you're at work, just know that it's temporary. There will be a point in the day that you can go back to your barracks and you can journal or you can write letters to home, really expressing and getting those emotions out. And that kind of goes hand in hand with anger as well. So don't be popping off at your drill sergeants either. And don't try to be the class clown either. The drill sergeants will turn that around and make you look like a clown. All right, another thing that you need to know before you head out is that nothing is private. The drill sergeants can hear what you're talking about them or it's gonna get back to them one way or another. Same thing goes with talking poorly about your battle buddies. Rumors spread like fire and it will get back to them. So just keep it to yourself. All right, another truth time. <sighs> You are not entitled to anything. No, you're not entitled to your phone. The drill sergeants do not care how much you spent on your bill, how much you paid for your phone, if it's personal possession, blah, blah, blah. You're not entitled to use it while you're training or at work. Same thing if you were at a desk job or a retail job, they expect you not to use your phone. You're not entitled to do things whenever you want or say things however you like. Right now, you're a soldier and you do what you're told, how you're told to do it. Suck it up, this is the military, and this is the mindset you should be preparing yourself for. Speaking of paying money, you need to make sure that not only mentally you're going to basic training straight, but financially you're going to basic training straight. And I don't mean money in your bank account, that's not so important as making sure you have somebody back at home that is going to be paying your bills for you. Do not get caught up in this issue where, oh no, I forgot to set up my automatic draft on this bill, or they forgot to skip that. No, no, no. Take care of your bills. Make sure you have 
one or two or three people that have your bank account information or have your auto pay set up or something, some way to take care of your bills. That's very important. It's going to be incredibly difficult to get in contact with anybody in the outside world or to even know if a payment was missed, if your mortgage was missed, none of that. You were, you're, it's gonna be a while before you even find out that's happening. Lastly, the military is not for everyone and that's okay. If you've made it to the end of this video and along the way you thought, oh, I don't think I can handle that. Well, maybe it's not for you and that's okay. To get real, if you aren't physically or mentally capable or willing to do the things that it takes to become a soldier, you're just putting those to the left and right of you at risk. This is the first time that you're going to be under pressure in military life. It's not real, none of it is real, it is all temporary. But when you become a soldier, and if that was too hard for you, if basic was too hard for you, what do you think it's gonna be like in Afghanistan? It's a thousand times worse and way more stressful. So before you even think about going to basic training or while you're in basic training, while you have an opportunity to change your mind, just think about what you're capable of, what you can do, and how you're going to affect the soldiers to the left and right of you. All right, and one last honorable mention for you females. Yes, you females over there that are watching this video. I have a friend, one of my best friends is a drill sergeant at Fort Jackson, South Carolina. You know, where 60% of the females go to basic training. If you haven't heard that, you know, I'll leave it in the card up here. She wanted me to pass along the message that you should be prepared for the leg tuck. This is in the new Army Combat Fitness Test. She's saying that most of the females are stressed out about this. This is where they're all failing. So my advice to you would be to go to the park or ask your recruiter. I'm sure they have some sort of facility you can go to to learn the leg tuck and get good at it before you go to basic training. Make sure you can pass that event so that you're not worried about it and maybe you can help somebody else with it who's struggling when you get there. So this is just one of those things that during the military you have to take personal accountability and be dedicated to what you're doing. So if you know you're going into the military and you're gonna be tested on certain things, you should start as soon as possible to get yourself prepared so that you won't fail. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you stuck it out to the end. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you wanna see more from me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ding the notification bell so that you always know when my next video is coming. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.